M0FXB, just a quick upgrade on the Anytone 878 from version 1.22 to 1.23. You'll notice that Broadcom systems themselves have turned around and said don't, they're not even going to have 1.22 on the list of old versions, so there must have been problems. So I'll just quickly show you to upgrade to firmware 1.23. So all you do is come here to Broadcom Systems. I'll put a link in. Click Latest CP Download. So click here, this one here, and you'll get this compressed file here, which I've extracted to a file on my desktop. Then I've uh, got the programming software here. You just put the radio into firmware mode by holding the PTT and the top button whether it's red uh, blue or green now now so it's a bit fiddly but you have to uh, hold them at the same time just check you can uh, see that okay There you go. As you can see, busy here at home. So then you go to tools, go across down to firmware, click open file. You've got to find the file that we're looking for, which I put on my desktop. Desktop here. Any tone 878 firmware is the one I've chosen. Then you want the the firmware file, it gives you the CPS as well, if you want to, you know, it makes sense to, to use that one as well from now on. Double click this one here, double click the file, open succeed, click OK, and then click write, click OK, and then it will write across, and then we'll be up to the uh, 1.23 version. And we'll, we'll be able to check that as well by just going into settings and having a quick look. So I didn't know what the problem was with the 1.22. Um, and I need to find out what the improvements are on the 1.23. So I'll have a quick look, see if I can find that in a second. We'll just pause for a bit. Okay says write complete click OK radios booting up we're just gonna exit that and just on the radio we're gonna go menu settings device info and then go down and there it is 1.23 and I'm just gonna have a quick look see what the latest improvements are on the 1.23 Right, just lastly, just it says here what the what the 1.23 did. It basically resolved the issue that talk alias transmit does not match to the selected radio. Two CPS tool options add analog APRS RX option allows user choose whether the analog APRS RX setting is valid according to the radio version. Resolve the issue that when sending APRS beacon it transmits three times instead of once when transmitting APRS beacon with PTT it transmits it twice instead of once. That's what it says. So 7.3, hope this helps. All the best.